hey guys, welcome back. It's going to be part 34 of our uh, Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen series. Uh, I'm Anthor, and where we last left off, uh, we got our butts kicked by the Ottomans. Shocking, I know. Oh, God, these guys are enormous. Uh, they took, basically, uh, Tabuk, Al-Jalaf, uh, Basha, la 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 la, all this stuff. Took a bunch of stuff. Uh, they are allied with Swahili, which is not good for us, uh, because I want to attack Swahili. Um, but I can't because stupid Ottomans. Um, so that sucks. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, we're playing, uh, the new patch is supposed to be coming out soon. Um, so I'm probably just gonna, I might not update right away and just finish the series with, with the, uh, rules we have in place. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna continue. We are Republic. I'm gonna try to wrap this series up. Uh, we'll play at speed five for the majority of the time. Got some hardy semen. That's good. Uh, just to try to get to the end. I think it's like 1840 is when this ends. So we got another 140 years or so. Uh, we've gone about three, uh, just under 300 years now. And uh, things were going great, but the stupid Ottomans were being stupid. Uh, let's take a look at our economics. Go ahead and turn our army maintenance down a bit more. Uh, diplomatic expense. Yeah, we're supporting some rebels. Oh, we can steal Defender of the Faith. Hmm. We do need the prestige. We're making how much? 15 gold a month. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. That's all good for us right now. So we'll take that. And the Ottomans can suck my butt. Alright. They don't like us. Rival. Possibly, yeah, we got a few, uh, 200 border. Man. Yeah, we have no chance with those guys. Uh, Vijayanagar likes us very much. And uh, we are allied, so that's good. And you want to get an alliance with uh, France, so I believe I'm over, yeah, improving relations with France. We've got those guys here. We're still friends with Poland, but just barely. Um, because they're getting their butts kicked. Uh, Crimea is occupied by Orthodox Zealots. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but we got Vijayanagar right now, which is a great ally to have. They're huge. I suppose we could maybe make friends with Morocco. Oh, our general is dead. That's not good. Let's get a new one. Oh, he's not bad. Cool. We'll put him with the uh, 19 stack. And, oh, I did start my timer. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Oh, our royal marriage with the Timurids ended. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Because they're down to one county, and now I don't have to be friends with them anymore. I'm down to one of six on my diplomatic relations. That's crazy. Ottomans fabricating more claims. <laughs> yeah, they won't take a Royal Marriage. They freaking hate us. And quit. Uh, we managed to uh, integrate Ethiopia and, and switch the culture and everything real quickly, so that's all set there. Iraq's the same deal. Um, Persia does not like us. Alright, France we've topped out relations with. Plus 95. They will not accept an alliance. Why? Ah, okay, so we can set enemy of enemy. Yeah, I don't think we... We can totally set Denmark as a rival. And that'll give us a little bit of a bump. Probably. Might be enough. Might be enough. Let's see. If I send them a gift... improve it by three. That's ridiculous. Alright, so we'll set uh, enemy of enemy then. Um, but, but we can get rid of the golden horde. And we'll throw in Denmark. Because they went to war with us and I hate them. There we go. And that should make France like us a little better. Um, what's he doing as soon as that, that kicked in? Where's, come on, enemy of enemy. Just have to wait till the end of the month, maybe. Got a trade dispute, Kazbella, with Swahili. Oh, because I didn't ever set them. Hold on. Hold on here. Select a rival. 
10 more. There we go. Alright, so the Ottomans, those guys in Denmark, and now France. Should like us better. There we go, 145. They will take an alliance. Awesome. So we are allied with France as a Janagar. Hopefully this will... Uh, the Prince of Dumble. Oh, we got caught fabricator helping rebels from the Ottomans. Uh, hopefully this will help us um, stave off the Ottomans. Um, and they will not attack us. Oh, the Mamluks are actually uh, well, were actually occupying some stuff. Go Mamluks. Uh, we can go up. Oh, cool. Naval base, custom house. Good stuff to get. Uh, let's go back here and continue to support rebels. Alliance from Austria. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I accept. Super good. All right, so we've got uh, three really powerful rivals, which is going to help us quite a bit. Um, let's see, Ottoman peasants aren't really useful for me. Uh, I mean, I guess any internal strife is good. Do that. Um, so let's just, out of curiosity, let's take a look here. If we can't wait for the 23rd of November. So if I were to declare war, France, Austria, and Vijayanagar would go to war against against uh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans are currently at war with Poland, the Mamluks, Persia, Morocco. Wow, so that's tempting. I've got uh, 34 guys here. He's got 29, 38. Uh, do we have room for more? One more. Huh, so we could potentially, um, let's take a look at France. Are you in any wars? Yes, France is currently at war with Brittany. Austria is at peace, and they have a truces with France. Bavaria, Switzerland, Trier, okay. And the Janigar is at war with Punjab. So we're going to, we'll wait just a little bit, but that's actually a good sign. We might be able to, uh, to spank the Ottomans back with the help of Austria, France, and Vijayanagar. That would be really nice. Ooh, tempting, tempting. Oh, all my diplomats are free. Um, let's go ahead and, how's our improved relations with Austria? Oh, because I set Denmark as a rival, sweet. Setting Denmark as a rival was a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and improve relations with Austria. How are we doing on France? Did we max that out? Yeah, that's pretty much maxed out. Um, Poland is getting their butts kicked. They're going to have a truce, so they're not really any use to me. Um, what are you? You're Sunni. They would take an alliance as well. Who are your rivals? The Timurids, Punjab, and Russia. Oh, you don't touch the Ottomans, so I don't know if having you on my side is the best idea. So can I set, uh, how do I do this? Let's set you as a, come on, how do you do that? Um, there we go. Go to capital, special interest, special interest, special interest. Keep those guys special interest. Science, nope, we need to gain some piety. How are we doing on piety anyway? We're at 65%. Can we convert anything yet? No, we can't. Jeez. Provincial tax income is kicking our butts. This one, we're pretty close. So is Basra. So if we uh, build a new fort in Basra, that'll help a little bit. Not that much, really. Oh. So let's see. Who's in the... Coalition is Austria, the Mamluks, and them. Huh. So Austria must have just joined the war because they're not at war with them at the moment. So hopefully this war will end soon. They're at plus 15, and France's war against Brittany should end pretty quickly. Oh, it's over. So they're in truce with a bunch of people, but none of them are the Ottomans, so that's good. 
So as soon as Vagenagar is at peace, you know what? Unless they screw up, we're going to give this a try. Um, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Let's go ahead and uh, we've got three free diplomats. So we're going to support some rebels. Bosnian nationalists. We do that. We're going to wait until we can send another guy. And we'll infiltrate and sabotage. Gonna piss off Hungary and everybody else. So the Ottomans are getting a little bit too big for their britches, and they're about to deal with the consequences. All right, so France is at peace. Austria is at peace. Vijayanagar is. Who are you? You're fighting Punjab. Where's Punjab? Oh, they're pretty big. I'm gonna need you to be out of that war. Oh, this is. This is. Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic right now. What I think I should probably do is to move my military out of here. Uh, or go just over to here. And we'll, we'll, we'll dump everybody here and then we'll, uh, we'll let our... What's the supply over here? Uh, 56, yeah, plenty of supply. Oh, we got no longer infiltrating. Let's get to here. God, if we just keep getting caught, it's ridiculous. Right, you guys get on the boats. Over here. So we'll move our entire army off into this little island, and then we'll declare war on the Ottomans uh, when Vijayanagar is done with their little war. And uh, we should have smooth sailing at that point, like... Uh, We'll hide our military until uh, until France and Austria and Vijayanagar can get their guys into position, and then we'll bring our guys up, drop them off, and uh, hopefully take back some of our land. I don't care how much aggressive expansion I get, I'm taking back everything he took. Maybe a little more while I'm at it. Yep, some free tax, that's cool. We can go up here where we're going to be able to do the most damage. Alright, so we're just going to hang out until you guys are done with your war. Just going to take a minute. Hopefully Austria and France won't start anything else. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? Wow. Baden nationalists all over Austria. Tuscan nationalists, they're having some issues. Where are you? Noble peasants? Wow. Alright, Austria is kind of screwed at the moment. But at least we'd have France, and if we had France and Austria, then that would give a nice uh, path right over to the Ottomans there. But Austria is having some serious problems with these 70,000 stack. Oi, oi, oi. So we got caught doing all of our stuff over here. We lost the claim on Taga. That's fine. I'm never going to use it. Um, nationalists. Fine. We're just going to do everything we can. Oh, the Platinum is now the head of the Roman Roman Empire. Awesome. Piety, gain wealth, gain anything. Oh wait, I forgot about sowing discontent. Oh, somebody's already doing it, nice. Good. Yeah, so the Ottomans are having issues at the moment. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to sweep down here and kick some butt. Are they? Oh, I can go with you guys, right? Come on, win this war already. We can get Vaginagar in. They've got, you know, 40,000 men there. We can take out the, uh... What are you guys? Bosnian nationalists. Go, Bosnian nationalists! Uh, every able-bodied Muslim who can afford to go on the Hajj is required to do so at least once. It is a religious duty and one of the five pillars of Islam. It is a pilgrimage to Mecca, and all male pilgrims dressed in the ih ihram 
to show equality of all pilgrims in front of God, as there is no difference between a prince and a pauper. The pilgrims do not shave, clip their nails, wear perfume, swear or quarrel, have sexual relations, uproot or damage plants, kill or harm wild animals, cover the head or face and hands, marry, wear shoes over the ankles, or carry weapons. As ruler of Yemen and being able-bodied Muslim, it is time to set an example and begin the Hajj. So I can gain 10 piety, gain 10 prestige, uh, and lose 200 ducats, or I can just lose some piety. Um, no, the, I want the prestige, like, really bad. So let's do that. And we'll get the stability cost, will be cheaper. Hey, we gain a free stability for getting our stupid prestige back to zero. Hooray! Good stuff. Alright. Alright, so the morale of our armies is no longer negative. Uh, many rituals of the Hajj uh, include the Tawaf, where the pilgrims visit the Kab Ka Kaaba, Kaaba and walk around it seven times counterclockwise, uttering a prayer in each circuit, ending in the ritual by praying and running or walking seven times between the hills of Safa and Marwa. Uh, the next day, the pilgrims leave for Mount Arafat, where they stand in contemplative vigil and pray and recite the Quran. Uh, the night is spent sleeping on the ground of Muzdalifa. Uh, the day after the pilgrims throw stones to signify their defiance of the devil, and at the largest pillar known as Jamrat al Aqaba, uh, when seven stones have been thrown, the pilgrims slaughter animals to commemorate the story of Abraham and Ishmael. Uh, the pilgrimage is almost over, but some tasks still remain. Good. More free piety. Good. Oh, advisor died. You can take, uh, there's no level two to take. Tariffs, diplomatic tech costs, better relations over time. Tech cost reduction. For now, we can pick a new decision. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, we can totally... Let's do the Jizya. We'll lose a little piety. That's all right. We just gained a buttload. Uh, plutocratic administration. Trade efficiency. Get another merchant. We'll oh, lose two stability. Man, it can get us back up to zero. All right, we got peace. Trade ideas. Oh, we would change to a merchant republic. Um... That's probably not a bad idea. Let's see. Does it show you what a merchant republic gives you? No, of course not. Hmm. Is there like a... No, it doesn't appear so. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Maybe after we wrap this video up, I'll look it up and see if, if switching to a merchant republic would be a good idea for us. Uh, I was going to check if we could convert anything yet. Oh, we can. Hooray, Basra. Go. Uh, yeah, revolt's possible. It's not surprising. Alright, we lost uh, one of our guys, and the Ottomans is no longer able to do what I wanted them to do. Uh, he was infiltrating. We'll keep doing that. I don't care if, we can find, if they can catch us or not. Uh, let's pause with Jadigar. Almost done with their war. France doing okay, still at peace, beautiful. Austria is getting run over by noble peasants, or noble noble peasants, noble rebels, uh, but they're still okay. And let me just see, I don't have a guy right now, but somebody's bound to get caught in the Ottomans at some point soon. Oh, looks like the Ottomans just finished up a war or something. Nope, they're still at war with Poland, but they're winning. If we attack them while they're at, still at war, we might be able to do some extra damage. They're sieging back what the Mamluks took. But uh, they, they must have wrapped that war up. Yeah, there that war's over. Crap. Peace with Poland, Mamluks, Morocco, Persia. Uh, none of those matter. What's this? Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that alliance with with Poland. Will we? That'll piss off Austria, won't it? Because they're set as a rival. And I feel like Poland's a little weak right now. Um, ledger. Military. Armies. Total armies. France, Denmark, Jadigar, Ottomans, Portugal, Poland. Where's Austria? Austria's way down here with only 9,000 men. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. Um... And how long is their truce? Until 712, so five years. It might be a little bit too long to wait. Our uh, Republican tradition's going up, though, which is really good. Uh, 
we finally have positive prestige, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, it's gonna go down though because we're not. Uh, we have. Oh no, we're gaining just uh, about 0.73 a year. So that's okay. That's nice. All right. The Jaws has gotten freedom. We can declare war on them and take them. They have coffee. They were ours at one point. So plus 65. They would take vassalization if we could get up to 190. They'll offer. They'll take an alliance. So I can either just attack them outright and take them, or I can try to diplo annex them. Um, let's see. What are you doing? You are infiltrating. Sabotage your rebel. Bring me back. Oh, more tech. What do we got? Ah, constitution. Cool. So we get our new idea now, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, we can have a constitutional monarchy. What is that? Does that do anything for us in the Republic section? No. Well, maybe. We'll have to wait until we get some more... Uh... Ooh, that one looks like Constitutional Republic. I like production efficiency. That's good for money. Alright, so we can take an idea. And what idea are we going to take? We're going to take defensive ideas, because we need them. Um, because I'm scared of the Ottomans. So we can go ahead and get some free yearly army tradition. And that's all good. And, uh, let's see, Ottomans are at 23 military tax, so are we. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this guy's home. We can, uh, let's see. We can go up to 165. Who are your enemies? Do you have any yet set yet? Rivals. We have a... Uh, enemy of enemy already. Well, it's gonna... Oh, we can get a royal marriage. Let's do that. And then we'll, uh... When he gets back, we'll improve relations. And we should be able to vassalize these guys pretty quickly. There we go. <sighs> of course you're fabricating claims. Why wouldn't you be? Alright. Janigar, are you done yet? You are. Okay. You're done. Austria has dealt with their rebels, it looks like. And oh, but they're currently at war with Britain and Bohemia. So we're Great Britain, Aztecs, Venice. They're not going to be much use. Uh, France is not at war with anybody, though. Poland can't attack for another four years. I'm not sure that's the smartest idea in the world. Let's just let's just check and see here. Let's see if there's dip oh, we don't have a diplomat yet, do we? Grr. Oh, yeah, we don't need to improve relations with Austria. Coalition, Hungary, Austria. Gain some piety and some prestige. I like it. Oh, so much positive prestige. It's so good. After being down at a negative 100, it's pretty nice to be back up a little bit. Come on, get home. Alright. Let's see what we can happen here. So Poland would not come because they can't. I think I'm just going to bide my time until uh, 1712 when I can get Poland involved. And. Yeah, I'm going to probably just show, show superiority. Oh, pause. Alright. Um, that's a policy change. Lose an order, lose a stability, lose diplo power. <laughs> Lame. sucks. Alright, uh, and then let's see, so we can, it's election time. I kind of want a military candidate now so we can get our uh, defensive ideas. So we're going to go ahead and take him. Uh, so we got a military ruler, which is groovy. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to check this. Vassalize the Jaws. We're going to do that some more, so that's no problem. As soon as uh, we get up to 190, which is going to be pretty soon. Actually, let's go ahead and get the alliance. Rebel support. This guy, so he's up to 128, so it shouldn't be too long before we can vassalize his ass. Uh, yep, they're dealing with some rebels. Those are boats, okay. So they've got 43 men down here, which sucks for me, because that's, you know, more than I have. Although I can probably float some, uh, yeah, I can definitely float some, uh, some mercenaries for a while. Even cranking up my maintenance all the way is only gonna t uh, yeah I could definitely float some stuff 
so that's cool. Get that. Um, yeah, we'll be able to float some mercenaries, which I think is what we're going to do to have even the, the slightest chance against him. If we look at his army, he's got uh, 35,000 infantry, 3,000 cavalry, and 5,000 cannons. Um, and he has, a, you know, he has at least as many guys as we do, like uh, at least as decent of men as we do. Uh, Hajj is over. All right, so we get plus 10 uh, opinion with like just about everybody who's Sunni, and that's cool. Even Ottomans, and we get some free prestige. Now look at that. So we're now up to uh, let's see, morale of armies is plus 0 0.06. I'll take it. So we might actually stand a chance if we uh, fight the Ottomans. Yeah, they need some bigger rebel outbreaks. It's kind of ridiculous that they're only getting like eight stacks, and he's walking around with a 43 stack. All right, so three more years and everything should work out. Stay at peace, please. Stay at peace, please. Get your shit together, Austria. Poland, you're doing okay. Yep. So if I can get Poland, France, Austria, and Vagina Garden to this war, <laughs> it'll be World War. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at Crimea real quick. You guys, what's your opinion of Ottomans? You guys share pretty much, you share a pretty big border now. Ottomans, Ottoman opinion of Crimea is that. Crimean opinion of Ottomans is that. That's cool. Sabotage rep is helping. Uh, so let's see if we can't, um, they won't take an alliance, huh? Why? Oh, they can't afford another one. Well, that's too bad. I guess we can improve some relations for the time being. Oh, Jesus. That was my phone. It's incredibly loud. Probably turn that on silent next time. That would be a smart idea. Fabricating a claim, of course. So if the Ottomans would move their men like up here, then I would feel a lot safer about attacking. What do we got as far as our men go anyway? We've got um, 20, 10, and 5. And we can build one more guy, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and build another infantry. And we'll just build it in here. So he's all in the same spot. We will be able to blockade a little bit. Okay, lost a claim, that's fine. Screw Swahili. Not even concerned about them right now. We need to save our money because this war is going to be long and costly, I'm imagining. Where did they move that 40 stack up there? Well, I don't know where the rest of their men are. Although I do have. Am I infiltrating still? I didn't think I was. Oh, no, I still am. See, that's weird, though, because I know they have more than the stack of men. I just don't see them. Maybe they're on boats or something, but... Hey, Bosnian nationalists are kicking some butt up there. What do we got up here? Wallachian nationalists. Polish rebels, of course. Bohemia coming down to stomp on Austria. Two years away, and we'll be able to have all four... Hopefully all four of our allies uh, come and stomp on whatchamacallit, on the Ottomans. That would be super helpful. Um, how's our piety doing? Yeah, we'll gain it. How fast does it, like, fall away? Idea! Alright, we got uh, morale of armies. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That'll be good. Uh, speaking of, let's see. Our military advisor, we can maybe get a plus two in here if we have one. And we don't. Uh, what's our guy? He is a defense guy. Maybe reinforcement speed might be a little better. Oh, our infiltrate administration is over now. Let's, uh, oh, we can sow discontent. Yes, let's do that. And then when our guy gets back, we'll uh, support some more rebels or something. Ottomans are allied with Bulgaria and Swahili. Do -do 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 support rebels. Uh, unification.
location, so I can Persian Patriots. I probably will be handy if I uh, help those guys out. Which one would I probably rather help out? Now that I can't see anything up here anymore. Sixty percent, man. Everybody's revolting over there. It's fun. Yeah, this is about the time to do some stuff. Is there anybody? Hi, yeah. We'll do these guys because they're a high percentage and they're not revolted yet. Or Bosnian. Let's do these guys. They'll join back with the Mamluks, which is not a big deal. Not in our. Oh, there goes our military advisor. Uh, manpower, force limit, reinforce military tech. Uh, we can get some more. Let's take this guy, because I think that'll allow us to have more men, right? Uh, yeah, we can have four more guys. So, one, two, three, and four. Disease. <sighs> uh, how are we doing here? 159. Almost there. Oh, great. Free stability. Stupid. Uh, at least we've got some points, so we can go ahead and just boost that back up. Can you, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Well, those guys built fast. Okay. And uh, that's about time to wrap this one up, guys. I think uh, when we come back, we're just two years away from... Ottomans until March of 1712. So we are well, just a like a year and a half or so away from being able to declare this war. Uh, France is still at peace. They're improving relations with me. That's cool. Uh, Austria is still at war. Uh, Vijayanagar is at peace. So we should be able to get those three guys in on us uh, in Poland as well uh, once that's done with. So between Poland, France, Austria, Vijayanagar, me, Hopefully we'll be able to punch uh, the Ottomans a little bit. That would be good. So we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you around next time. Adios.